Saw stop table saws have a unique blade safety system that has a flesh detection device that prevents it from actually cutting your finger or doing any kind of damage to you. So let's take a look at how this works. The secret to it is a system that uses this brake pawl, as it's called. It has a device in it that's like an electric fuse that hooks up to the system here and it rides right up close to the blade real close, about a, less than an eighth of an inch like that. And as the blade's spinning, it's just right there. If, if something should touch the blade, such as your finger or any, any kind of metal, anything that's conductive, will, it will trigger this. And the reason that is, is because the saw runs a low grade electrical current through the blade, through this device into the blade. It's not enough to shock you, but it's enough to create the, this fuse. So if you touch the blade with your finger or with metal or anything conductive like wet lumber, right away that current leaves the blade and goes into you or the metal or the wet wood. And as soon as that happens, that triggers the safety device. And what that does then is that it releases the fuse and the spring throws this aluminum brake pawl into the blade, crashes into it real fast, stops it. At the same time, the whole system drops below the table. So it happens so fast that you won't even be able to see it. But we're gonna see if we can. But it, it's just, it, it works so well at stopping the blade, getting it away from you, and all you end up with is a, maybe a slight nick in your skin. So let's take a look here at how this goes together. First, I wanna put the brake pawl in. It slips over onto a couple of metal studs there. That, okay, there we go. And those electrical connectors now are linked together. So I take the key and I put that in and lock that in place. So now my brake pawl is locked, secured in place. I've got to tighten up my riving knife again. We've got the blade guard off for this instance. We've got the riving knife in. So let's put the blade back on. Okay, and now, now that I've got it done, the computer on this thing will actually read that now. It'll sense this now that I'm not touching the blade, it'll sense that. So when we come over here and we look at this around on the front side by the operator position, there's a switch that tells me when it's safe to go and when it's not gonna work. Okay, when I touch the blade, the red light starts flashing and that's telling the, the, the saw that it will not turn on. So I cannot turn it on while that red light is flashing, whether it's flashing or solid. The only time it will come on is if that green light is on without any red. So as soon as I let go of the blade, it goes to solid green. It has about a five second delay, and now it tells me that I'm safe to use that. The last thing we gotta do is put our throat plate back into the saw. We're all set up, and now we're gonna make a test cut. We're gonna use a hot dog to simulate flesh, to simulate wet finger, to show what it does and how it works with that. So to do that, I'm going to cross cut. Use a piece of plywood to hold the hot dog and what I'm going to do is cut right into that and then it'll trigger. So let's see it happen. As you can see, our hot dog barely got a nick in it. That's all that happened to it. So if that was your finger, that's all you'd have. Maybe a little scratch that may or may not even bleed. We know that the blade and the brake are, are down there. Let's take a look at what happens to it after an activation. Okay, here's what the blade of an activated brake cartridge looks like. As you can see, the aluminum pawl threw itself into the, the blade and grabbed the teeth, engaged it, and stopped it in a hurry. This is the spring mechanism, the fuse that broke, that let it, and threw that out there. So now that this is activated, these are both useless now. So we have to toss those, we have to get a brand new brake cartridge, we have to get a brand new blade, and start over. 
and that'll cost you about yeah, maybe 150 to 200 bucks, depending on what your blade is, but it's well worth that to save your, yourself from getting any significant injuries. So now let's get another cartridge and set it up and go back to work.